The theory behind the wings is that we have overlapping traits with the personality types directly to the left and to the right of our primary type. So fours can either have a dominant three wing or a dominant five wing. And before all my unique little individualists ask, yes, you can share traits with both wings, but typically one is far more dominant than the other, as you'll see in the subtype descriptions. Okay, fours with a three wing are called the aristocrat. I know some people don't know what an aristocrat is since we don't really use that term much here in the States, but an aristocrat is someone of noble birth and is stereotypically known for having an elevated view of themselves. Just think Downton Abbey, but less surreal. Fours and threes are actually very different at their core, but they do share one major similarity, and that's that they're both in the heart triad. What that means is that this subtype deals with a ton of shame around their public identity. Aristocrats care a lot about what others think of them, and they want others to see them as having great taste in all things, be it their knowledge of fine wine, cool clothes, or even their romantic partners. Type three achievers are very practical, success-oriented people. So that makes fours with a three wing tend to suppress their emotions a bit for the sake of their image. Now, while four wing threes deeply desire success, they're really afraid of attaining it. They tend to be scared that the spotlight of success will expose all their flaws and failures. This tension between craving success and fearing exposure can make them really turbulent people that are always contradicting themselves. One day it's, I'm gonna be a public speaker. And the next day it's, no, nah, I don't care about that anymore, too dangerous. At the end of the day though, fours with a three wing are the more extroverted, romantic, creative, and egotistical of the two subtypes. Now fours with a five wing are called the bohemian. Fun fact about the Enneagram for you, the shape really matters. And when you take a closer look at the Enneagram, you'll see that the biggest gap between any two numbers is the gap between the four and the five. That's because these two numbers represent the edges of the heart triad and the head triad. So when someone bridges this enormous gap, you know, think about someone who lives in their head and lives in their heart, they tend to have a very unique perspective because they're interpreting the world through two distinctly different antennas, if you will. This makes fours with a five wing the most purely creative of all types because they combine all the gifts of the head and the heart. Bohemians can tap into a mixture of emotional awareness, intellectual curiosity, and insightful observations about the deeper truth of life so that they can come up with some incredibly profound works of art. But that's only if they can motivate themselves to put in the work necessary to produce a final product. Bohemians are notoriously slow to act on their creative imagination, and they often become obsessed with following their muse down any and every dark rabbit hole rather than just finishing what they started. The five wing also makes fours way more withdrawn, private, and less concerned with public opinion. In some ways, that allows them to feel far more free in their creative aspirations because they're not really concerned if their final product is gonna receive like mass public approval. And on the other hand, it makes them stall out because they don't care if anyone sees the final product. If bohemians get too isolated in their imagination, then they can start to lose touch with reality and feel like nothing matters anyway, so why bother? Overall, four wing fives are very minimalistic in their desires when compared to the four with a three wing and they'd be happy living an independent unconventional life where they can endlessly express their creative vision for the world all right those are the wings for the type four individualist now let's get into how the type four's behavior changes based on their level of health 